chapter was chapter 4. It was mainly talking about the subsidies in the U.S. So the main story that we got out of this chapter was how to gain a global competitive advantage. It was mainly talking about all the other factors that helped the U.S. maintain dominance in the cotton industry. So our framework goes to show some of the factors that are important to create dominance in a particular industry. First, uh, we start with the market itself. We have identified four key sections that create a market. In this case, we're using the cotton industry uh, as an example. Uh, you have to have technology and product innovation in order to um, in order to push forward uh, the the economy of the cotton industry. In this case, in this chapter, they were talking about using the different parts of the cotton as as new products. Uh, in addition, we want to talk about the operational and uh, business advancements. In this case, the, the cotton farmers bonded together to create co-ops in order to have more purchasing power and more supplier power. Next, we also talk about consumer preferences. Because consumer preferences change, industries have to be aware of uh, what they want. The example in the book shows that more people are interested in organic cotton, so more organic cotton farms are showing up. The last and possibly most important driver of the industry is knowledge and skill development. As was shown in the chapter, the lack of knowledge, especially in China and India, sh showed that even though you have advanced technologies such as genetically modified seeds, you cannot properly use it if you don't understand how to. So we have a model of how the industry is developed. We also talked about some of the controllable factors that affect the industry. If you look down here, we talk about controllable economic factors. And three that we identified was cost reduction, quality control, and risk mitigation. Here we show different examples of different industries uh, doing such. One of the most important factors that we have to also understand is there are other factors in play that we cannot control. Now, this is shown over here, we call the uncontrollable economic factors. And they are important because they have a significant economic effect, but you cannot control them. For example, social economic factors, the politics of a country, um, for example, protectionism versus quotas, the different laws and regulations, and most importantly, natural disasters that you cannot control. So, given this entire framework, our question is how do you, how do you create global competitive advantage? We think that being aware of all these factors can help executives um, create a strategy for global competitive advantage. But we have to understand that this is only a framework and you have to be aware of each individual country.